Welcome aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Telisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about abstract class. So before starting with the example, let's talk about some theory about abstract classes. So uh, before understanding abstract class, let's talk about methods. So when you talk about methods, you know, uh, the behavior of your object is defined by the method, right? So let's say you want to add two numbers, you want to check for the login. So you want to execute something, that's your behavior. So the behavior is defined by the method. So let's say you want to you, you want to write a method, but if you don't know the definition of the method, you just know the the name of the method and the number of parameters it will take. You don't know the definition. So what we can do is we can declare the methods. So just write the method name and a semicolon. So if you declare a method in Java, that method directly becomes abstract. So those methods are called as abstract methods. Okay, so once again, abstract methods are those methods which are declared, not defined. Now, if you have abstract method in your class, that class becomes abstract class. Okay, so abstract, you can have abstract method in, inside only abstract classes. Okay, so let's start with abstract class now. So if you talk about abstract class, it's a class of which you cannot create the object. So the first point to remember for abstract classes, you cannot create object of abstract class. The second thing. Abstract class can have abstract methods. Okay, now that doesn't mean you cannot have an abstract class without abstract methods. So example, let's say if you get a class like A, and in this class A, you don't have any abstract method, but you can make this class as abstract. Okay, so first point, you cannot create object of abstract class. Second, uh, your, uh, your abstract class can have abstract methods. Okay, now, uh, so why exactly we have this concept of abstract classes? So let's start with this. So let's say we have three people, uh, Ramesh, Suresh and Mahesh. Okay, so we, we start with, so we have M first, which is Mahesh, then we have Ramesh and then we have Suresh, so M, R, S, right? So let's say uh, Suresh, uh, Suresh want to do some, he want to make something new. He want to make a new phone. And of course, if you talk about the current generation phone, we have lots of features, right? We have a camera in our phone, we have music player in our phone, we have torch which is flashlight in our phone, what we have else, we have lots of features right, so initially to have one of these features you have to buy a device, let's say you want a light, you, you buy a torch, you want to take pics, you, you buy a camera, now you buy a phone which has all the features. But let's say in future, you want a phone which will have more features. Example, let's say you want to cook, some, uh, cook something, you require a phone right, so your phone will act like a microwave. That sounds weird, right? But let's say you, you, you want some more features. You want, uh, what features comes to your mind? Let's say you want to drive a car. Of course, we have Google cars now. So let's say you want some features. You, you want a phone which can dance. You want a phone which can charge itself. So you want all these features, right? So what you will do? So let's say we have Suresh here. Suresh want to build a new phone. So what he has done, he went to some uh, library. He took some research paper just to see whenever you want to do something new you have two choice either build something very new or you have to refer other people papers you know if you if you search for research papers you have to read the article and you will understand what new you can do and then you can do it right so that's that's a research paper so let's say Suresh is referring to the Ramesh uh, new uh, Ramesh research paper in which he says so Suresh wants uh, three features including phone uh, a phone with a calling method he needs a phone which can move he needs a phone which can which will act like a microwave or a oven or he, you need a phone which has a dancing feature but the problem is Suresh don't know how to do that so he is referring to Ramesh paper Ramesh article and Ramesh says you can create a class something like this so we have a class here in which so let's say this class is this class is called as phone class in this phone class you have uh, four methods. The first is calling, okay. second is move, third is microwave and fourth is dance. Okay, so what Suresh has, so what Ramesh has done is he has created this phone class. Let's name it as Ramesh phone. In this class he has, he has defined call feature because Ramesh was knowing how to define call. Uh, he has also defined the method which is uh, move. He has also defined a method which is uh, dance, but he's, he failed to define a method which is micro, uh, this microwave. So what Suresh will do now, so Suresh class, Suresh will create his, his own class, will name this class as Suresh phone and Suresh will extend Ramesh phone. So all the features of Ramesh will go to 
Suresh, right? But if you can, if you can observe in, in Ramesh class, we have a method called as microwave, right? Which is a semicolon. So you can see there's a semicolon at the end. And that method is abstract method. Okay, because we are declare, declaring it. So if you have abstract to the class or to the method, you can you should have uh, abstract to the class also. So that class becomes abstract class now. So this Suresh class, which implements, also which extends Ramesh class, he has to define all the methods. Now, which methods? Every abstract method you have to you have to define here. So this method, which is microwave, you have to define here. That's so if you if your class is able to implement that method, this class will be called as concrete class. But what if Suresh fail to define that method? Again, now Suresh class will become abstract class. So any class in which you have abstract methods, it becomes ab abstract class. But then question arises: From where Ramesh got this idea? And if you have, if you do some research in the in Ramesh paper, in Ramesh research paper, the reference is mentioned of Mahesh. So what Mahesh done is Mahesh created a class earlier before before Ramesh he's created a class in which you have four methods but only one method was defined which is call he failed to define move he failed to define micro micro microwave he failed to define uh, this dance method so in this you can see we have three abstract methods and that's why this class becomes abstract okay so we have abstract class we have abstract class and then this is your concrete class sounds good so that's that's the advantage of using abstract class and abstract methods but let's say we'll, we'll see a real life example of this now. So that's the understanding, right? Now let's let's go it up. So everything is blank now. Now let's start with fresh. Now let's say you have this class, okay? You have this method which 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 prints something. So you just so this method name is let's say this is a config method which will so you pass the object name. Example, if I pass iPhone, so if I pass iPhone six object, it will print all the configuration about iPhone six. We have two GB RAM. We have uh, what we have we have 12 megapixel camera we have uh, iOS 9 9.3 so that's the configuration it will print if you pass the object of s4 Samsung s4 it will print again 2gb RAM and octagon processor all those stuff so we have this method in which you have to pass objects right and this 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 will print the object uh, configuration but question arise uh, in this method you have to pass object right but object of which class if I pass object of iPhone, then you can only pass object of iPhone. If you specify parameters S4, you can only pass S4 object. Let's say I want to pass any object. So let's say we have a class iPhone. So we have iPhone class, we have S4 class, and then we have let's say HTC class. And all these classes, they have different configuration. We have different variables, right? So what we can do, instead of mentioning iPhone, instead of mentioning Samsung, we can create an abstract class called as phone and this classes, these three classes will extend phone class. Now the advantage is, doesn't matter which object you pass, here you have to mention phone, not as iPhone, not as phone, you have to mention phone. Because this phone can take any object. And that's one of the best use of abstract classes. Okay, how exactly this can be done, we're still in the practical. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.